What's up you guys, this is Auto House Z from CM Auto House and we have some very special stuff to take a look at today so let's check it out. So this is the impulse transmission adapter for the TL70, it's the 6 speed found in the FRS BRZ GT86 to 4AG adapter. So we'll unwrap all these parts take a look what's included with the kit but just to give you a brief overview of the game plan I have a TL70 torn apart right now this has about like eight track days on it um, I previously rebuilt this thing with the Synchrotech carbon fiber synchros I'm putting a new third and second gear as well as the 3-4 shift sleeve and 1-2 shift sleeve. So this will get built, or I should say refreshed, and be married with this guy. And it took some thinking, but I finally decided that I wanted to put this, install this inside the Battle Garage car. So um, what was my thinking behind this? My car already has the 6-speed from the Alteza J160. Um, and you know, I've I've heard the argument before people were like you're gonna pull out your six-speed to put in another six-speed and um, The owner of battle Gras is going to uh, has plans to do more frequent track days The current t50 in this thing totally doesn't match the caliber of engine that's in this car And so this guy what he really needs is a proper transmission option such as this so again, I'll be installing the six speed adapter in this car and then we'll be able to do like a side to side comparison of both six speed options. We're really going to track test this kit. So, so yeah, we'll take a look at the engine right now and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what do we have here? This is a seven AGE with a black top head with black top ITBs so 7 AGE this should be a 1.8 liter um, this was built by the owner of Battle Garage himself built by engine management actually built by one of the members of the annex suspension team Crazy Keith so you'll see more of Crazy Keith on the, our channel so yeah obviously the caliber of this engine doesn't match the antiquated 5-speed T50 that's in this th in the car right now but luckily we will solve that problem very soon all right everything's out of the packaging so let's talk about some of these parts before anything I need to give a big shout out to Jack Mob 86 he is the owner of shock the mob and he offers uh, brokerage services for importing parts and cars now entire cars over from Japan Jacob has first-hand connects with a lot of companies in Japan so big shout out to Jacob again because this was a very expensive kit it took a very long time to get here and it was very difficult for impulse to even consider a US buyer in the first place today's the end of September 2019 this was on their website. Um, I'm not sure why I don't see it on their website now, but um, I'm actively talking to Jacob right now because I'm starting to install this kit. So yeah, let's take a look at some of these parts. So custom full face Xeti clutch disc. These full, these springs remind me of like an Xeti stage one. Um, it's this thing's interesting because it's like dual pattern right it's got three pucks like a uh, Xeti stage 2 but it's also a full face I can tell this is like uh, metallic so this should be able to uh, this should be a lot better than just like a regular organic you can listen to I think episode 16 of the auto house podcast where I talked to Jacob and uh, Saldi about this kit so this is the shifter cover for um, custom one-off by Impulse. 
and you need this shifter cover because the shifter position is going to be further back and you're going to have to cut a new hole in both this guy and the body. So I'll show you where the shifter cover goes on the car. So actually I'm wrong. This is to cover up the original shifter hole. Um, I think the shifter is actually going to sh sit farther back here. We also have the custom front part of the drive shaft. So this is actually... So on a TL70, this is actually the same as W58 Toyota, but this should be the proper length. In theory, you should be able to just unbolt your back half, bolt it on, go to a drive shaft shop, have this rebalanced, and then you'd be ready to go. So here we have, again, impulse one off and in-house, um, the shifter relocation on the trans. I'll show you on an actual trans where this guy goes, but we can do a comparison. I got two of these on the floor where this guy mounts up. And you can tell we can retain like the reverse lockout plate. It's not pictured on here or it's not shown here, but we can retain the reverse lockout plate. And this brings it much further forward to actually fit in the Corolla chassis. And I'll show you this on the transmission itself. Cool, I have a spare TL70 already built. So this goes right there. And you can tell by the shifter rod how far this would otherwise normally be. And by the way, this guy is also replaced by This piece also one off custom from Impulse. So this guy sits under here and that's what the shifter connects to. So you probably installed it would be like that. I'll show you installed is probably like this. These two bolt to the factory ZN6 transmission mount and then they bolt to the body on the a86 so these are just kind of extenders yeah let me put this stuff away and we'll talk about the main piece right here all right before we take a look I asked Jacob which throwout bearing I'm supposed to use for this kit because I from what it looks like you use the t50 pivot and then from the impulse the pictures on the impulse side it looks like you also use the t50 fork but I'm not sure about the throwout bearing but I discovered something interesting. So this is the carrier for the AE86. And some interesting stuff, check it out. It's the same diameter. So Jacob's asking Tajima-san from Impulse to make sure, but um, this was an interesting find and uh, you can check out my manual trans tech video series about the FRS throwout bearing to find out more about this. So let's take a look at this guy. This looks like just a factory FRS snout or front case cover. Um, from factory, when you buy one of these, they already have a seal pressed in there. It only came with two bolts, so it looks like I'm reusing the other uh, FRS bolts. So not a big deal. I was always curious. I really wanted this kit. I saw on the Impulse website description via Google Translate that you also needed to send this in for quote unquote bail housing processing. And I was curious, what does bail housing processing actually entail? So really, I think you're supposed to send Impulse your factory GTS bail housing and then they cut this guy out in your bell housing to fit this guy. You can see they also clear some other parts of the bell housing out. But yeah, that's what they mean by bell housing processing. So let's flip this guy over and we'll take a look. All right, I have the impulse kit side by side with the original TL70 bell housing and we'll talk about dry and wet bell housing. So typically when they say a transmission has a wet bell housing that means gear oil actually goes inside the bell housing. 
so the all the shafts and everything will sit directly in here versus like a t50 where the bell housing is separate from like the regular you know wet part of the transmissions so that you can pull the bell housing off from like the rest of the transmission this is machined in-house by impulse this is looks like all one cut of a, a big block of aluminum uh, you can see this is where the three shift rails go this one's a bearing and these two are brass inserts and again if you listen to the podcast you can hear my view about like the, the quality of craftsmanship and you know the forethought and thinking behind this because if you look at the OEM one same thing this is a bearing and then these two are um, you know they look gray so they're probably like steel or aluminum inserts but that's important because um, no matter what these will be wear components um, no matter how fast or slow they wear but this ensures that you know if these wear out there's inserts here that you can replace it's not just aluminum where it's like if the aluminum wears then oh great now it's ovalized and now you're stuck you got to bring this to a machine shop and do some crazy stuff but